Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can change PowerPoint's options to change the default settings of the program. Note that only advanced users who thoroughly understand the options should change PowerPoint's options as this changes its default settings. This lesson shows you how to access PowerPoint's options and some of the most used settings in PowerPoint. We have already discussed some of these options at various points in this tutorial in the context of their use within PowerPoint. To access PowerPoint's default options, click the File tab in the ribbon to show the backstage view. Then click the Options command towards the lower left corner of the command panel at the left side of the backstage view to open the PowerPoint Options dialog box. To use the PowerPoint Options dialog box, click the name of an Options category in the list of categories at the left side of the dialog box to show the category's options in the pane to the right. Note that many of these options are self-explanatory. However, options that may need additional explanation appear in the Options section with a small i at their right end. If you hold your mouse pointer over the i icon, a screen tip appears to show more information about the option. To show PowerPoint's general settings, click the General Options category. Some of the most frequently changed options in PowerPoint then appear at the right side of this dialog box. You can check or uncheck the checkboxes to enable or disable the related features. If needed, to customize your copy of Microsoft Office, Enter your username and initials into the fields provided in this section. To show PowerPoint's default proofing options, click the Proofing Options category. These options control the behavior of tools like Autocorrect and the Spelling tool. Check or uncheck the options in this section to change the settings used by these tools when proofing presentation content. To change PowerPoint's default presentation saving settings, Click the Save Options category. In the Save Presentations section, to set the default presentation format to use when saving PowerPoint presentations, select a choice from the Save Files in this format dropdown. To set the default behavior of the Auto Recover feature, which lets you choose how often this information is saved and where the information is saved, use the next three options in this section. To set the default folder to which to save presentations when saving presentations to your computer, you can enter a folder pathway into the Default Local File Location field in this section. To set the Display Language and Proofing and Authoring Language in PowerPoint, click the Language Options category. Then change the desired settings to the right. To enable accessibility options in PowerPoint, Click the Accessibility or Ease of Access Options category depending on your version of PowerPoint. Then check the checkboxes and use the related dropdowns to the right to enable the accessibility options you want. To view PowerPoint's advanced options for many different types of miscellaneous settings, click the Advanced Options category. Each set of advanced options is grouped together by subcategory to the right. You can check or uncheck the checkboxes to enable or disable the features shown in each section. To customize the ribbon in PowerPoint by adding, renaming, or removing tabs, groups, and buttons, click the Customize Ribbon Options category. Then make your changes in the section to the right. Likewise, to customize the Quick Access Toolbar by adding, renaming, or removing buttons, as shown in the earlier lesson titled The Quick Access Toolbar, Click the Quick Access Toolbar Options category, then make your changes in the section to the right. To show external programs that interact with PowerPoint, click the Add-ins category. Clicking the Trust Center category lets you manage PowerPoint's security settings. We recommend you do not change these settings. To apply the changes to PowerPoint settings after changing the options, Click the OK button in the PowerPoint Options dialog box to save them and close the dialog box. Depending on the options you changed, you may then need to restart PowerPoint for the new options to take effect. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.